Hi, my name's Cameron Carlson for Anime on Location. I'm at OhioCon 2010, uh, 2011 with uh, Doug Smith, the artist and voice actor. How you doing? All right, so it's been a long time since we spoke with you. So what's been going on with you for the past working year? Well, last year is a little bit of a blur. Um, just recently, I had a passing in the family. And so as far as projects, I put a lot of it on hold. Um, but uh, now that it's the new year, I'm ready to get back into it. And I can go into what I'm going to do this year. Um, uh, I have recently acquired more uh, work, but unfortunately it's not in the anime industry. It's gone back to my uh, graphic design, but um, it's also a springboard for me to uh, launch more of my uh, artwork on uh, other products, most, uh, most notably t-shirts. So in the future, expect to see more t-shirt designs from me, as well as uh, printed artwork and more colorful uh, advertisements, as, and as well as an update on my website as well. So, and I also plan on putting together an art book of all my collections through the years. I've been doing these conventions for over 10 some odd years, and uh, OhioCon, I've, been, I've pretty much been to every single one of them, except for one, and uh, this is like one big extended family here, and I couldn't, I can't think of any other con to start off the year for me than OhioCon. We love having you. I, I love having you. So um, how have you been enjoying it so far the past couple hours at the convention, and how do you plan on enjoying the rest of the weekend? Well, let's see. I got in yesterday. I didn't get. Uh, I got in yesterday around 7. Didn't call it a night till like around 5, 5.30. So, yeah, I'm having a great time. So, And I'm pretty sure it's going to be that way for the rest of this weekend, too. I'm just going to come crawling in. It's like, yeah, I'm ready to get going, you know. So it's good. I'm, I've already ba I'm back into con mode again. Well, you've already aspects you love coming year after year after year. Like, what are those special moments that say, hey, I want to keep coming? It's the people. Every year it's like, hey, how's it going? You know, so it feels like I'm a native here. But uh, at the same time, it's, it's great because you get a warm feeling inside, like family does when they welcome you back after not seeing you for so long. So, yeah, I'm having a great time. Cool. Um, so what projects do you potentially have in the works that you look forward to coming out close to the early year? You said you were working on more traditional art, more your digital art and your t-shirts. So is there any big project that really sparks imagination for you? Probably the book. You know, I want to put together a nice book of my collection of stuff. And that kind of spans my 10 years of being an artist. And I want people to look at this book and say, wow, I remember this piece when it first came out. And like, cool, I was just at this con when this commission was commissioned. You know, because I have a lot of people who have uh, gotten art from me in the past, and for them to give me a scan of the artwork I did for them and put it in the book is kind of like a time capsule of a flashback of all the art of what I did before and then to present. So it's always interesting to see uh, old pieces versus new pieces and comparing it and see how much over a span. Because I get that a lot, you know. People will bring it, wow, I have some of your older pieces, but some of your newer stuff is so much different than what I have, you know. So... It, it just constantly keeps changing. So, how is that been going? Outlaw is um, it's constantly moving. It's 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 the company is metamorphosizing into so many things. It's a it's a collective of many companies. So they work with Iverse and now it, um, I, uh, Comics Universe I think it's called now. There's an app in the App Store for it. Uh, it's a comic book reader. You go in there and read pretty much every title of comic out there from. DC, Marvel, Dark Horse, you name it, Arcadia, you know, all those different bland, uh, brands of comics. Um, and, at, and at some point, uh, video game stuff, you know, like for iPad and iPhone. But um, it's all a work in progress sort of thing. So it's, it's still in its early stages, but it has potential to go further.